Hello, Covenant Community Church friends and uh, family. Um, hope everything is going well. Hope you're having a great week so far. And I uh, just want to give you some words of encouragement today as you continue on um, just doing your thing this week. And uh, it was my pleasure once again uh, to be back at Covenant Community uh, this past Sunday as I preached on Elijah as we're going through this series, um, People in Progress. And so a couple things to think about, about that sermon. Um, you know, I have some uh, questions there for you to kind of ponder and to kind of start as a guide, to kind of guide you into a discussion. Um, but the first thing to think about is, what has God done in your life? Um, take an inventory, you know. Uh, I, I mentioned that during the sermon. Take an inventory, kind of look back and just kind of think of all the things that God has done in your life. Um, or what has he done in someone else's life through you? You know, we look at Elijah and we see Elijah um, just really uh, took care of Israel and really done a lot of things for different people, the widow, the widow's son. Um, but um, kind of look at yourself because God does use you and he does use you to make people's lives better and to um, just infiltrate and um, meet other people and um, just kind of um, through you kind of spread the word. And so kind of take an inventory and look and see what God has done um, in and through you in your life. And so from that, um, think about this, like, how do you approach God in times of distress? You know, we all have those times where we uh, have, have things that go wrong. We have distresses, we have worries, we have problems. How do you um, respond? Well, when you get angry, when you get sad, depressed, get anxiety, uh, do you go to God right away? Do you kind of take refuge in something else? Uh, do you look for him um, or do you look uh, to him? And what I mean is, do you look for him to do something or do you look to him for direction? Um, those are a little distinction right there um, to, to play with and kind of think about. So kind of think about that, you know, um, and, and what do you do? And kind of share experiences with a friend or somebody or if you're in a group, share your experiences with the group. Um, and then from there, is there currently right now a situation uh, in your life when God has not answered you? Um, and kind of take a, just kind of think about it. You know, is God having you do rest right now? Are you in a period of time where you just need to sit back, relax, and rest, and just recuperate and be um, able to get to a place where you can hear God? Uh, that's very important too. And so, a lot of times we go through struggles and, and and problems, and we really want God to speak to us, but a lot of times God's just saying like, "Hey, hold on, chill out, take some rest, and not talk to you when you're ready." And then lastly, uh, in the sermon, I mentioned repeatedly the question, what are you doing here? How would you answer that question? How would you answer it on Sunday? Has things changed? How would you answer it today? And again, the whole question about that, it, it really takes a look at you yourself, um, your actions, and where you're at in life right now. Where you're at as far as location, where you're at in terms of um, what's going on in your life. Um, what are you doing here? Basically, it's asking, what is God's purpose for you? Take an inventory of yourself, kind of look to the future, and think right now and ask the question, what are you doing here? Hope you guys have a great week. Uh, again, it was my pleasure to speak to you guys, and um, I'll see you guys again very soon.